Hi everyone. I'm doing something a little different today. I'm doing an acrylic pour on a stainless steel tumbler. This is one of the cold drink ones. Got it from Michaels. And I'm doing it on my rotator. I haven't done it this way before. I've done it with resin and I've done... Anyways, I've just never done this before so I think it's going to be fun. I have a canvas under here because I'm sure there's going to be runoff. So this can be a two for one project. I have a little bit of leftover paint in here. I'm going to go ahead and use this. And so I'll fill this up with some various acrylic paints. This is just an eight by 10 canvas underneath here. So for that, I don't need a lot of paint, uh, but I'm gonna try not to, I don't know how much I'll need to cover this. <laughs> All right, so the colors I'm using, I'm using Thalo Blue from Arteza. I'm using Arteza Iridescent Playful Pink. And then people have been asking for me to use silver. So I'm using some Deco Art Extreme Sheen Silver. That should be fun. And then let's go ahead and throw a little purple in here. This is the Arteza Iridescent Royal Purple. And then I'll also just use regular Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Whites. I'm sorry, I know this isn't as much in the camera as normal, but here we go. So I'm gonna turn the rotator on. If I need more paint, I will use more paint, but for now, let's see if we can make this work. So I'm gonna just slowly pour, and as it moves, the paint will be going around, of course. And just so you guys know why I don't often use silver is because I'm just not a huge fan. <laughs> I use the colors that I like, um, I, which is funny because I love wearing silver jewelry, but when it comes to paintings, I love gold. That's just how I am. But I'm using silver for you. So I'm just trying to pour slow enough to get full coverage without dumping too much out at once. And also without going off the side here. I think this is going to be very interesting how this dries. So I'm just gonna, because I don't wanna pour too close to the edge here, I'm just gonna use my, my finger to make sure that I get the rim here. And these are the cold drink cups. So I don't really have to worry about anything on the rim because that's not going to be touching anything. <laughs> All right. So I actually have full coverage. I'm going to add a little bit more of that phthalo blue in there. This is a little too light for my liking and I want to get a little more contrast. I like it over here where it has the dark. So I'm going to try to get some more of that in there. And also no black, you guys, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> Ooh, I love this blue and that purple together. And then it does look really pretty with that silver. All right, I'm gonna let this turn for a few minutes till it kind of settles down on the dripping. And then we'll go ahead and I'll carefully move this aside and do the canvas. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this seems to have pretty much completely slowed down on the dripping, almost stopping 100%. I'm sure it will keep dripping. And I do want it to obviously keep rotating. So I'm going to very carefully move this aside over here. And then another benefit of this is we're definitely gonna have some unique patterns on this. So I use more than five ounces of paint. I do have a little bit of extra paint in here and I did see a couple dried <laughs> paint parts as I was pouring. 
I think this is going to be super fun canvas. And we kind of add this rose over here. All right, that is very cool. And I'm really digging these colors. I hope no one's offended that I'm not a huge silver fan. It's not that I don't like it. I just, in paintings, prefer gold. But I love, 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 love this. Okay, I'm going to do a quick close-up for you guys on the painting. And then I'm going to let this rotate until it's dry. And then I'm going to let it dry, dry. Once it's completely dry, we'll come back and I will resin it. And then show you how the cup looks complete. So let's do our close-up here. So really, really gorgeous colors here. Very happy with it. I think I will be using this color combination more often. Let's do a quick close-up on the cup. So that's what it looks like so far. Very cool kind of marbled look. All right, and like I said, we'll be back. Okay guys, so we're back. The cup and the painting are both completely dry. So first I'm gonna just quickly show you the painting. I think it's awesome. Very um, shimmery with all that silver in there. And I love this side, it's like a rose. So there you go. And the cup, obviously because it kept rotating, it kind of blended a bit more and thinned out. I personally love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and coat it with ro resin and then we'll do a close up on the cup itself. All right, so the resin that I'm using is Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. Love this stuff. So I've got a little bit mixed up. I'll turn on my rotator. And then we're just gonna basically give it a nice even coating with the resin. Now, a common question is how long do you have to wait for something to dry before you resin it? That is an excellent question, but also kind of an impossible one to answer because it's going to depend on the products you're using, the environment you're in, etc. So for this cup, I did wait about a week and I'll tell you why. Um, Cause normally it would take acrylic paint anywhere from, you know, three to four weeks to cure. However, on this cup, because it is not a flat surface, the paint is actually quite thin. So there's that factor. Also, where I am right now, it is very dry and it has been about 100 degrees <laughs> the last few days. And before that it was, you know, 70 to 80 degrees. So we've got a very hot and dry climate, which causes things to cure much, much faster. So in a cold environment or a humid or wet one, it may cure a lot slower. So that's just my opinion. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a <laughs> paint expert, but this is how I've been doing it for quite a long time and never had a single issue. All right, I'm really excited about this cup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and torch this really quick and then I will show you guys a close up. So nothing difficult about the torching. Just go back and forth real quick as it rotates. Make sure you get through the full rotation. And of course, don't forget the bottom and try to stay away from your foam over here because you will melt it. And that is literally it. All right, let's do our close up. So I'm basically gonna just hold it here as it rotates and that way you can see all sides of it. Uh, but you can see the blues, the purples, and of course the silver in there. It does seem like a lot of the purple kind of blended in, but I totally love how this came out. 
And also, just a cool part is on the bottom, because of the rotation, it got this really cool, like, swirl. <laughs> so I think that is awesome. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm very pleased with how this cup came out. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you all next time.